Hello everyone and welcome back. So in our previous lecture, we learned what is linear transformation. What is the actual form of linear transformation? How the integral, what kind of integral is this that we have learned there? So in our second lecture, we learned some very important properties and some important theorems. Okay, so let's get started. So our first theorem is, our first property is linear property okay so what is what we'll get in this particular property suppose f f1 of s and f2 of s, s are laplace form of f1 of t and f2 of t so i think you still remember that what is l of f of t formula for l of f of t it is 0 to infinity e to the power minus st and then f of t dt okay and this we can write like this also f of s now here s is a parameter which is independent of t so there is no direct relation between s and t and f of t is any kind of function so here since there are two different functions you see f1 of t and f2 of t for f1 of t the laplace transformation is what f1 of s and for the function f2 of t the laplace transformation is what f2 of s so what we have to show here l of c1 f1 of t plus c2 f2 of t if we can take or we have to take the transformation like this then we can uh, simply split it like this c1 l of f1 of t and then c2 l of f2 of t so it's very simple and then major constant is c1 and c2 so constant come look matlab bahar lake sir jo function hai f1 of t and f2 of t uska hum log laplace transformation yahan pe le sakte hain so c1 and c2 are any arbitrary constant okay so what we have uh, we know that that or you can suppose that laplace transformation of f1 of t how will write it laplace transformation of f1 of t it will be 0 to infinity e to the power minus st and then f1 of t dt so this is the definition of laplace transformation and this one how we can write like this this is this will be our f1 of s and similarly laplace transformation of f2 of t so you can hoga 0 to infinity e to the power minus st and the function is now f2 of t dt so you say hum log kya likhenge f2 of s okay here c1 and c2 are constants abhi hame kya dikhana jo left side wo dikhe l of c1 of f1 of t plus c2 f2 of t so so lenge so lenge hum log c1 f1 of t plus c2 f2 of t okay so laplace ka jo definition hai ye pura man lijiye this is this whole function is suppose f of t okay suppose this is f of t so if this is f of t so what is laplace transformation of f of t 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t so here it will be 0 to infinity e to the power minus st or in place of f of t we are going to write this expression okay so it will be c1 f1 of t plus c2 f2 of t okay dt now let let us separate it so how we can write here c1 is constant so we can take out the constant 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f1 of t dt and for the second case yeah we have c2 go bahar laenge 0 to infinity then e to the power minus st f2 of t dt okay so c1 so you have already let you get 0 to infinity to the power minus st f1 of dt is come kya likhenge f1 of s so this is our f1 of s or you can write like directly like this also so this is f1 of s or what you can write laplace transformation of f1 of t so let us write this laplace transformation of f1 of t and then c2 into laplace transformation of what f2 of t okay so it's done it's so simple just you have to take out the constant so this particular property is called what linear property now the second theorem or 
first and translation theorem so what is first shifting theorem okay <clears throat> now see how it shift so this is e to the power at f of t now what is the right hand side f of s minus so in general if it is only f of t then we have to write f of s but here with f of t we have one more term but e to the power at so if one uh, exponential term comes then the form of f of s will be f of s minus a. Okay, so this is the general form from the definition a Laplace transformation of f of t. How you can write it? f of s. But if one additional term comes, but this is a particular case, it should be e to the power something. Okay, it's not like that, uh, anything else. So e to the power some constant into t because these two will be matching t and t. If you write e to the power suppose some other variable, then also this will not come. Now, how we'll start it? So, let Laplace transformation of f of t. So, we know that the definition is how much? 0 to infinity e to the power minus st and then f of t dt. So, this can also be written like this f of s. Okay. So, you have to practice this, these things. So, whenever you practice, so initially this particular integration looks like uh, a little bit. Uh, uncomfortable for all of you but when you write two three times then you'll say this is a simple thing limit is always zero to infinity function will change this function will change after this particular lecture in our next lecture we'll learn some more properties uh, by using those properties we can do some examples then you'll see this is very simple and f of t will change problem to problem but this is a fixed one e to the power minus st okay so this is the uh, uh, Laplace transformation of the function f of t. But what we have to find? We have to check that if we insert another term e to the power a t, then what will happen? So now it is 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t. Now see, here we have what? f of t. Right? f of t. So this is also f of t. But now, here in place of f of t, we have one more term e to the power a t f of t. So, it will be e to the power a t f of t and then what? dt. So, one additional term comes. So, 0 to infinity. Now, you just observe these two terms e to the power minus st and e to the power t. So, what we can write? e to the power, we can add the power plus a t and then f of t dt. Right? So, 0 to infinity. Let us take minus common so you will get s minus a t and then f of t dt. Okay, now you see if it is t, yeah, if this term is t, so it goes here. Okay. So not t. If this term is s, so we will write f of s. Okay. Now in place of s, here what, what is there? S minus a. So this will be simple f of what s minus right with t what we have s so that's why it is s now here with the t minus will be there with t what we have s minus a so then you can simply write it f of s minus a so this is our first shifting theorem or first translation okay now let us come to second shifting theorem or second translation so here what is the change a new function is defined here you see g of t a new function comes g of t and what is the form it will be t of uh, f of t minus a provided t greater than a and uh, in else it will be zero if the value of t is but less than a so then we have to find the laplace transformation of g of t f of t, laplace transformation of f of t is what is f of s but what is the laplace transformation of g of t it will be like this e to the power minus a t and then f of s okay so let us check it and this is what our second shifting theorem. So, what is given here? So, in the same way, we will start Laplace transformation of f of t is 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt. So, this will be capital F f of t dt. Okay. Now, see what to find. We have to, this is this you can write f of s. Now, we have to find Laplace transformation of a g of t. 
सो लेट अस रिप्लेस यहाँ पे जो एफ ऑफ टी है उसको हम लोग रिप्लेस करके यहाँ पे जी ऑफ टी लिखना होगा सो जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी इ टू द पावर माइनस एस टी सो इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू राइट जी ऑफ टी डी टी ओके सी कैन वी स्प्लिट द इंटीग्रियल द लिमिट इज जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी सो जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी है पहले हमें उसे लिखना है जीरो टू ए बिकॉज यहाँ पे एक नया वेरियंट है वेरिएबल है ए जीरो टू ए इ टू दी पावर माइनस एस टी जी ऑफ टी डी टी प्लस नेक्स्ट वन विल बी ए टू इन्फिनिटी ए टू द पावर माइनस एस टी वट जी ऑफ टी डी टी ओके नाउ सी इफ द वेल्यू ऑफ टी इज लेस देन ए लेस देन ए मीन्स वट दिस वन जीरो टू ए इफ इट इज जीरो टू ए देन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रियल विल बिकम जीरो बिकॉज द वेल्यू इज हमच एट द वेल्यू इज जीरो सो दिस इंटीग्रियल विल बिकम जीरो Okay, so which one is left out? Second one, a to infinity. So a to infinity e to the power minus s t g of t dt. Now here there is a problem. In Laplace transformation, the lower limit should be what zero, but here the limit is what something else a. Okay, a. And uh, in place of this particular term, now what we can put? This is a to infinity. Now see, a to infinity means it's more than a. So if t is more than a, so in place of g of t, we can write f of t minus a. So this will be a to infinity, e to the power minus s t, and then this term is f of t minus a dt. Okay, f of t minus a dt. But this is not the answer. So what we have to do now? We have to um, do one substitution. So here see, it's t minus a. So let us take this t minus a some variable. Suppose t minus a equals to x. So if you differentiate, you will get dt equals to dx. And when you substitute, no, you have to change the limit also. The lower limit is a. So when t equals to a, if we put a here, so x will be equal to zero. And if t tends to infinity, then x also goes to what infinity. So what is the new limit now? It is zero to infinity. Now see again, the limit comes as zero to infinity. E to the power minus s. Now t t is how much from this equation? T is a plus x. Then we have f of t minus a. So f of t minus a is x, and in place of uh, dt we can write dx. Okay, so the variable is changed from t to x but the other things are almost same so this is equals to zero to infinity now this one you can split like this e to the power minus s a one term and e to the power minus s into x another term f of x dx now the since the limit the limit hai wo kiske upar dependent hai x ke upar dependent hai so ye jo pehla jo term hai ye fully constant hai so let us take it outside isse hum log bahar lenge zero to infinity e to the power minus sx f of sorry f of x dx okay so now this is again laplace transformation zero to what what is the form zero to infinity e to the power minus s into t then f of t dt so if the form is like this what you can write is kamlo kya likhenge yahan pe jo term hai kya hai s so this we can write e to the power minus s a and then f of s okay f of s so this is f of s But the answer is that answer is how much? E to the power minus a t f of s. So f of s is coming, and this is e to the power what? E to the power minus s a, na? So this term we have to change now. So what we'll get now? E to the power minus s a. Okay, so it is not t. This term will be. What is what is coming here? S A. Okay, so it should be S A, not A T. Okay, so S. A. So this is the proof. E to the power minus S A F O S. So what is our left hand side? Left hand side is Laplace transformation of what? G of T. So Laplace transformation of G of T is how much? E to the power minus S A into what? F O S. So again, it is simple. So if G of T is of this particular form, there is some condition type of thing. F O T minus A or T greater than A. Zero if t less than a, then we will get this result. Okay, now let, let us come to the last property, which is change of scale property. So again, if the Laplace transformation of f of t is f of s, then see what is changing here. Just in place of t, 
now we have a t okay so if it is only t then we will get f of s but if it is a t then it will change 1 by a then f of s my s by a okay so let us show it so let laplace transformation of f of t is equals to 0 to infinity e to the power minus st and then f of t dt and this is what small f of s now in place of t what we can write now we have a calic now a t okay so right hand side we change we have, so 0 to infinity e to the power minus st you have a f of a t dt okay so we have we have a substitute can suppose a t equals to x so this implies t equals to how much 1 by a into x differentiate can say dt equals to 1 by a dx so limit change can say ki rahega agar x uh, sorry have got t yeah. if t is 0 then x is also 0 and if t tends to infinity then x is also goes to what infinity so limit will remain same 0 to infinity e to the power minus s into abhi t ke jaga mein kya likhna hai so from this result t means what x by a x by a and then f of a t is x and dt means 1 by a and dx so here jo 1 by a use bahar lana hai then 0 to infinity e to the power minus this one you can write see s by a into x the constant is x then f of x dx to see now uh, if it is s if this term is s then we will write f of s so you have a last answer hai. so in in place of jo s hai, abhi hai kya hai? s by a so we can write f of s by a this done so this is equals to 1 by a then f of what s by a so this is the right answer it is again very simple okay so you have a property hai, so, आगे जाके वो सब यूज मतलब इसका जो यूज है वो हमें देखने को मिलेगा सो इन आवर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डू सम स्टैंडर्ड रिजल्ट्स जो कि हम लोग फार्मूला भी बोल सकते हैं सो so, 6 या 7 ऐसा कुछ फार्मूला है सो so, उसको हम लोग डिटेल में प्रूव करेंगे एंड देन फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग द वीडियो टिल नाउ सो आई होप दिस प्रॉपर्टीज आर क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड kindly like and subscribe and share with your friends so that others also get benefit thank you very much for watching